I'm using my phone, of course, so the video is not going to be very good, but my name is Eric. I own a G Max uh, today. It's a 1.5 plus XT and all the good stuff on it as it comes stock. Uh, BL Touch, heated bed, and, and, and all the other stuff. Uh, but this used to be a G Max 1.0. So uh, it used to be one of the very, very first ones that came out. And I've had it for about four years almost. And I have done all kinds of stuff to it. Uh, but I decided to upgrade it. So I wanted to share some of the upgrades with you. So two things, uh, some of the upgrades on, on the actual printer itself, and two, some of the things that will be going in. So such as a thermistor, I mean, uh, the uh, thermocouple from a thermistor, uh, and a touchscreen, uh, the MKS touchscreen, and the combined, um, uh, I guess it's called the uh, graphics uh, smart display. So anyway, let me show you, first of all, the printer. How quiet it is because I have changed the actual motor drivers to the TMC 2100 so my voice is actually louder than the printer itself and if I stop talking the only thing you'll hear is the actual fan of the uh, extruder of course you hear a little bit uh, of noise but compared to what the traditional the 4988s uh, motor drivers, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just stunned. And uh, you can see, uh, this is the original uh, the original uh, power supply. I've replaced it uh, with the uh, 500 uh, watt power supply, which you can't see, there we go, it's under there. Uh, but it's incredibly quiet. And I've replaced all the, there's no metal anymore. Uh, I mean, there's no plastic anymore. These guys here for the, uh, for the rod guides, uh, these are some bearings, uh, roll bearings. Uh, that I've actually made um, ball bearings they're in place they, they don't they don't move they're secure doesn't go anywhere uh, of course I've put a light on there integrated light and uh, I have changed belt uh, on the uh, that's your Y drive it's a much wider belt uh, that I believe gives me a lot of stability and uh, it has a very very firm grip and so I haven't had any issues um, for the belt stretching or, or the bed is heavy. So I, I felt that I needed that. Another thing that I've done is I've put here uh, some adjustment knob uh, screws. I guess the wheels uh, that allows me to level the bed very easily. So I don't have to worry about that. Uh, of course, you know, the GMAX 1.0 didn't have this... Um, you know, full graphic display, uh, this larger size, but you know, now the ones that are coming stock, they'll have them. Um, I have replaced, this is metal, uh, the corner that, that, that holds the, uh, this angle that, that uh, I kind of welded that. I'm, they, the ones that are made now, they're, they're already uh, made to, uh, to fit, to size. Now, what I wanted to show you that's pretty cool is what's coming. What's coming in that printer right there. I'm going to put more stuff in it, which I think overall it's going to help. Uh, this is uh, the kind of the, uh, it's my Rams 1.5, the one I work with, the one I mess with, so I don't get to mess up with that one there. Uh, this is the new driver. This is the TMC 2100. Uh, this is the quiet one and the Trinamic. Of course, this is not the original. Uh, this is the Chinese made. And even though the 40, uh, the original, the 4988s, uh, they, they are, they can handle up to 2 amps of current, these guys here can handle up to 1.2. So that's one of the reasons that on the Z-axis over there, uh, because I have two motors and they're bigger than the stock ones, the stock ones, they're smaller. Uh, the ones I have on there, uh, they're much bigger. Uh, so they draw a lot more amperage. Um, they couldn't handle it, so I still stuck with the 49. 88 instead of the uh, 21, um, 2100 TMC. So I managed to remove the traditional uh, thermistor uh, that measures the temperature and I installed a thermocouple. As you can see, right over here. It's a thermocouple with your little, uh, I guess, uh, amplifier from uh, E3D goes right into the um, auxiliary. Uh, I guess that is the third uh, auxiliary? No, it's the second auxiliary, sorry. It's the second auxiliary. And next to it is, yes, it's the 
MKS TFT uh, screen. And next to it, I have plugged the your uh, full graphics smart controller. So yes, I can control both. I can use both of these at the same time and I throw a couple and the TMC2100. And I can do all that. I have changed the, of course, I've modified the, uh, the Marlin firmware that I can do all that. So what I do like about this screen here is got a lot of detail. So you can go into certain modes uh, in the control mode and uh, you can get all that. If you want to change parameters, accelerations and, and all kinds of things that would allow you steps per minute. And you can save that into memory if you have, if you have actually uh, enabled uh, your, um, I guess, uh, memory save through the Marlin. But this, it's so much more simple. So if you don't need to do any kind of fine tuning or adjustments, if you finally have got your printer to work, however you want it, you can just use that. And I can use either one of them. So I'm going to show you. Uh, so let's say I can go move. In this case here, I've, I've hooked up my X axis. And, well, let's change it to 10 millimeters. And there you go. Every time I push it. And you can see how the motor does change. And now, let's say I want to go and use this guy. So I'm going to go to prepare, move axis, 10 millimeters, and X. And look what happens. The Oh, it's moving. But no, wait a second. I want to go on the other side. And I want to move it from here. Well, it's moving again if I do it from here. So, for the thermocouple, let's see. I haven't shown you that one there. So, let's see. It's in the extruder. And as you can see, it says over there, T25. And if I go and I touch this with my hand, eventually it's going to move. Now, see, that's 29. See, they both show that. So, once they both show it. Now, one thing that I did find, though, between uh, the two screens, which I find it interesting, that the uh, graphic smart controller responds faster to the temperature as far as it shows it faster. Uh, I'm sure in the uh, RAM 1.4, it registers the same way. So you'll see the change on the smart controller is going to be much faster for the response. And then the uh, MKS, the TFT screen, it's going to uh, catch up a couple seconds later. Uh, so, uh, anyway, it, wow, okay, I guess let's get the fan going too. That way you can see the fan um, working. So I'm going to go ahead and start it from here. I'm going to go and turn that on, and I'm going to say full. There we go. And it is working. And now I'm going to go ahead and use it from here, and I'm going to tell it to stop from here. So I'm going to go control. And then I'm going to go to, let's say here, can I do that here? Motion, no, wrong. Temperature, that's it, temperature. And then go to fan speed. And I'm going to take it down to zero. So see, that's part of the annoying thing. You have a lot more detail, a lot more fine tuning, but it takes forever and a day to get to where you want it to do. So I'm going to take it down to 54, whatever that percentage is. Ah, and there you go. And now you can see that the fan is gotten down to twenty-two <clears> percent. <throat> and as you can see, it's still spinning. But now I'm going to go ahead and take it back to full from here. And it is back to full. Okay, I'm just doing a little bit of rattling. And then I'm going to go and close it. So. I really like the setup. I like how everything that the whole time that I've been here, it's been working and the whole time it's been printing. I can have a conversation. The resolution is outstanding. Uh, this is, by the way, printing at 0.24, so that's kind of rough, but it can do some excellent prints. It can do some really excellent prints. So if you want to know a little bit more about how to integrate the thermocouple, how to integrate this uh, the screen, all combined together. There are some modeling changes that you have to make. Let me know, and I'd be more than glad to post any kind of, um, well, whatever you need. Thanks. Bye.